got to a tire shop. Huge plus, they have the tires that I need. The tires that I need are the two fronts because if you guys saw last video, they're actually showing wires and it's really raining so I just don't want to risk it. I really need new tires right now. I got cut off right there by the guy. But um, I think I left off on, it's been raining really bad where I'm from in San Diego. As you guys know, I'm running like a lot of negative camber. The inside is really, really bald and I waited too long to flip them, so they're now showing wires. So, tires are pretty much not good anymore. I can't flip them, so I had to buy two new tires for the fronts. The rears are good. It's getting pretty bald, but I still can flip them because they're not showing wires. Hopefully I can successfully head to the tire shop right now down in my area to flip my tires in the rears and put these two new ones in the front. Ones for the fronts, these are two 154018s. These are Nankings, I've never run Nankings, so hopefully these are good. To be honest, I don't know much about Nankings, but these are the ones that I could get today because I really need them today. So hopefully these work out well. Let's go ahead to the tire shop now. setups and stance in general um, when you're running a lot of negative camber uh, what we do to get the most life out of our tires is we flip the tires basically what that means is when you run like a, not a lot of negative camber only like half of the contact patch of the tire sits on the ground so the other half is like left untouched um, that's how it is with my rears like the inside is really bald where it touches the ground and the outside is literally looks brand new like so flipping them is pretty self-explanatory you just flip the tire um, around on the wheel so the bald side goes on the outside now and then the side that was never used goes on the inside so it's kind of like a new tire if that makes sense um, so yeah that's basically what flipping tires is for like all the stance guys yeah instead of buying new tires right away when it goes bald in the inside simply you just use the other side two hours later okay so so much time has passed since the last time I caught up with you guys I got my tires successfully flipped Got the new tires on the car right now. I actually just traded taillights with somebody, so I traded my non-sequential Valentis for a pair of OEM taillights. I plan on modifying the OEM taillights a lot and making them look super dope. And I kind of missed that OEM look a little bit, so I picked up a set of OEM tails, and they're actually on the car right now. I didn't really get footage at the tire shop because I just don't like filming them while they're like doing work on my car. Um, I just feel like it's like, I don't know, kind of rude and weird. I'll show you guys later what the tires look like. Literally, this is the worst rain that I've ever driven in in my life. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm from California, so it never rains here, ever. This rain is so bad. I've literally never driven in like worse rain than this. On camera, like it literally looks like nothing. But like in person, I can't see like a thing. Day two. I just took the car onto this little spot. I didn't go through the dirt road, I just backed in this pavement all right here. I don't know, I just figured this spot would be pretty cool for like a little picture before the sun sets. I'm not too sure if I made the right decision on choosing these tires. I needed two tires really bad um, that day, so I just kind of picked up what I could find. These are Nanking tires. He told me that he usually refuses to stretch Nankings. He told me these like leak a lot and they're just super hard to stretch but they managed to get it on my wheels. I'm just a little bit sketch on it because I'm kind of scared that they'll leak on me or the beads. Hopefully none of that happens. That's the only sketch part of these tires that I'm concerned about. Other than that, they look fine. For the back, this is the set that I flipped. So as you guys can see, it's pretty bald on the outside. 
On the inside, however, it's pretty much like brand new tread. Since I'm on negative eight, the outside doesn't even hit the ground like right here. So that's how it was so new. So yeah, that's pretty much how I get the most life out of my tires. I actually swapped out my taillights for the OEM look. I kind of wanted to try something new and I kind of want to modify these taillights. If you guys are interested in seeing a video where I modify these, leave it down in the comment section below. I kind of want to change up the bulbs and everything and make it look all cool, so that should be sick. So anyways, that concludes the video. Keep in mind, the most important thing would be an alignment, so if you have a proper alignment, that's the number one thing that will get you the most life out of your tires. But this is just another tip to add on to that. That pretty much concludes the video for today. If you guys enjoyed, drop a comment, like the video, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.